guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that's a backdraft Cobra. There's a 427 stroker under the hood, there's a five speed hooked up to that, and she is beautiful, man. Look at this car. Now, to start off right here in the front, it's got paint protection up here, so that's going to help against uh, stone chips and that. She is beautiful. Now, it's got the blackout package, so that's why around the headlights it's not chrome. The bumpers aren't chrome. Even around the uh, marker lights there, not chrome. You see the wheels are blacked out also. We got uh, paint protection here also, cut down on those stone chips. And then you can see those uh, side pipes, they're all blacked out too. This thing's looking sinister, baby. The windshield's blacked out, the roll bar's blacked out, and then when you pop the hood, everything under the hood's blacked out too. She is a beauty. We got the diamond stitch interior in there. We've got the uh, maroon accents and the stitching, which is looking really sweet. We got the uh, four-point harness here. We got shoulder belts. Now make sure you put your seat belt on on the passenger for sure. Uh, of course, I don't normally wear my seat belt in the driver's seat unless I'm on the racetrack, but you really should wear the seat belts in these things because this thing will turn on a dime. We've got uh, paint protection here also. Those front tires will throw up a rock every now and then. You can see everything back here is all polished up looking good. Pay no attention to Tommy Gunn. He has no thought of anybody else but himself. This fuel fill here is also all blacked out, looking good. We got great looking paint. I love all the reflections here. Everything's looking sweet as can be. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do consignment. That means we own this Cobra. So you can call Tommy anytime and he'll tell you all about this beautiful machine. All right, it's Cobra time, baby. 427 Stroker. Sounding amazing, feeling amazing, looking amazing. I mean, everything about this car is cool, man. I'll tell you, one of my favorite cars to take to a car show, one of my favorite cars to do anything with. It's like driving a go-kart that's really, really fast on the road. She is a sweetheart. That's why Carol Shelby won all those races back in the day, racing all the Corvettes and everything. He had a blast beating those guys' butts. Tell you what, very, very smart man, built a incredible car. Just listen to those pipes. Sounds amazing. Oh, we got a semi truck in the way. Gonna have to test out the brakes, downshift a little bit. While he's backing into the dock, we'll take a quick look at the dash here. We got everything you need on the dash there. You can see that the uh, tack is working, the speedo's working, semi truck. This guy actually knows how to drive. Normally, it takes 20 minutes for those guys to back into the dock. One of these days, I'm gonna ask them to get out of the cab and back it in there for myself. So we don't get a lot of visitors at Vanguard. So please come on out and visit us. We do sell most of our stuff sight unseen on the internet. That's why we don't get very many visitors. But please, we'd love to have you come out. And if you see Tom or I at a car show, don't be afraid to come up and say hi, man. We'd love to meet you. Just listen to this thing. Now we're about to do something that nobody does to every car in inventory. At Vanguard, every car in inventory goes up on the rack so you can check out how nice the bottom is. Now I've already seen the bottom of this car and you're not going to believe how pretty the bottom side of this car is. I mean it looks brand new. So make sure you share this video with your buddies. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're always posting new inventory we put up between 30 and 40 cars a month so look every day we're going to put this one up on the rack for you right now all right we're underneath the backdraft now and man is it clean under here as you can see it's got a nice bright aluminum tank look at those uh tig welds there tell you what somebody knows how to run a welder that is beautiful now we've got tie down hooks for the car if you ever want to put it on a trailer and if you guys watch my videos you know i always say don't tie this to a trailer, drive it. Now we got the BMW suspension uh, back here. I just rolled it over and counted it. We're right around the 340 gear in here. Uh, and of course it is posi. We've got disc brakes out back. 
I mean, everything is just clean as a whistle, all painted up, looking brand new under here. Now, what's really cool is they put these cross members in and they make them removable. So if you ever need to pull the trans, and this is a Tremec trans with a hydraulic clutch, we got a um, explosion proof bell housing there. We got a high torque starter. We got an extra capacity oil pan here. We got power rack and pinion steering. We got the BMW suspension up front. We got big disc brakes up here also. I mean, everything under here is looking sweet as can be. She is beautiful. And here's these tie down hooks that I don't want you to use ever. I want you to drive the car. But if you do want to put it on a trailer, you've got nice tie down hooks right here. You can put a jack on there too if you ever need to jack it up. We got a great looking set of tires on here. These are the oversized real knockoffs. Now I try to tell everybody, uh, Backdraft after actually has these locks here and it says right on them which way to spin them. Now to get the spinner off, you knock them off towards the front of the car. It doesn't matter whether you're on the driver's side or the passenger side. That little wire you see there is old school Carroll Shelby stuff, um, but that center cap will hold them on. Uh, we got blacked out side pipes looking good. Of course, this car's got the whole blackout package. That's why the wheels are black also. All right, back here's where the horsepower is meeting the road. Of course, we got more rubber. We got two 95 18s And again, those knockoffs knock off towards the front of the car. We're gonna lower this baby down right now and see what's making horsepower. All right, we're under the hood now and we have got 351 power here, stroked out to 427 horsepower. And the reason I say that is they start with a 351 block, then they put a stroker crank in it to get up to 427 cubic inches. You can see they've also blacked out everything under the hood. I mean, she is looking sweet under here. The air cleaner, the valve covers, the intake, I mean, the engine block itself, the overflow tank, the power steering tank. I mean, everything under here is looking sweet. Now, these reservoirs you see right here, one's for the hydraulic clutch, the other two are for the hydraulic brakes, and it does have power brakes on it. So she's all power. We got power steering, power brakes. We got power 427 here. Now, most of these motors are making somewhere between 500 and 550 horse, way more than you need for a little car like this. We got MSD is making the spark. Uh, it looks like an MSD um, distributor also. And we got Ford racing wires on this thing. I tell you what, she is a sweetheart, guys. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 in my Vanguard Motor Sales Park this dream in your driveway. <laughs>